Hi, today I'm going to discuss about, uh, I'm going to share some tips about how you draw a pattern on water diffraction. So this is a diffraction phenomena in which we have a plain water wave passes through a small gap and another same uh, plain water wave which passes through a larger gap. So how we draw this pattern of the diffraction of water wave. So the first case is when the water wave passes through the smaller gap. So assume that this is the wavelength. Uh, the, the wave run of the water wave which is passing through the gap so you have the water wave is moving towards the gap so what happened is how do we draw the pattern of the water wave so the tips are look at the size of the gap if the size of the gap is smaller than the wavelength of the water wave look at this wavelength this is the wavelength yeah look at the size of the wavelength this is the wavelength uh, the wavelength of the water wave so if the size of the gap is smaller than the wavelength so then what we're gonna do is we draw the circular pattern uh, we draw the circular pattern if the size of the gap is smaller than the wavelength so next what happened if the for the second case over here uh, if the water wave passes through much larger gap so look at the size of the gap over here. The size of the gap is much larger than the wavelength. Therefore, we draw this kind of wave pattern. So if you look at the pattern, the first one, we have a very obvious difference in pattern in which we have a circular pattern. In this case, the second one, for a larger gap, we have a very uh, less obvious pattern which is something similar like a straight line but towards the end there's a, a small curve towards the end of the line so this is what we call the less obvious pattern of diffraction why this is happening so we can conclude that if we have a smaller gap like this we have obvious diffraction pattern but if we have a much larger gap like the second case we will produce we will draw a less obvious diffraction pattern. So that's how you draw the diffraction pattern between these two uh, examples of diffraction of water wave. The first one with a smaller gap, the second one with a larger gap. So once you have drawn it, another tip is you must be careful that uh, you must always ensure that the wavelength before diffraction and the wavelength after diffraction is always the same. So examiner will give mark if you draw it about the same size. If you draw it at a larger size of the wavelength after diffraction, you might be losing another mark. Okay, so the mark given for the correct pattern in this case circular and then the second mark given for the size of the wavelength the size of the wavelength should be constant and about the same size don't show too much different on the size of the wavelength okay so <clears throat> um i think that's it about discussion on the uh short discussion about wave diffraction and to be precise about the water diffraction and have a nice day